Tillo gives a piece of his mind to Jesse Anderson up at the Black Bears blue line. Smith centering back over for Anderson. That'll show him what it's all about. Anderson gets right back up on his feet, cuts to the net, and puts the Black Bears on top early. It's Jesse's ninth of the season, but the way he's played all year, Brooks, I wouldn't have been surprised if it was his 30th. He has been all over the puck, whether it's forward or defense, jumping up in the play, knowing where to be in the right spot. And the emergence of Jesse Anderson to not only be a, a top two defenseman in this league, but to also be a top forward has been huge for Coach Sherwood's Black Bears. Stoya holds it in at the line, goes off the skate of Fletcher, floated out to the neutral zone. Touch pass over to Clark, plays on sides, scores! Breakaway goal for Cameron Clark. His third, and the first five minutes are going well for the Black Bears. It looks like they're picking up where they let off last night. That puck was just batted along. Cameron Clark shot out of a cannon, blazing speed. His third goal in his career, his third goal in his last four games, I believe. He is off to a rip-roaring start with his new club. Back across, here's a good chance, looking for the back post. Nielsen fanned on it, back in Anima, somehow on his side, made the save. Uh, for the two guilty parties in the penalty box. Thompson, beautiful backhand up to Kirkby, four on four, and Tyson Kirkby. with his 30th goal of the season. Makes it 3-0 for the Black Bears. Yeah, Kirkby just got himself away. Nobody noticed him uh, behind the red line, a beautiful pass. And all of a sudden, it's 3-0 for the green and black. Mississippi looks a bit distraught. Size it's gloved down by Oliveri. Up to the blue line for Kirkby, two on one with Thompson. Thompson a shot, no doubt about that one. Austin Thompson picks up another goal, make it 21 on the season. And the Black Bears score on the power play with 69 seconds left to go. Their stay on the main advantage. Well, four in his last two games, six in his last three for Austin Thompson, an electric electric shot off his stick and right top shelf past Joe Shepard. We've seen him unleash that wrist shot a few times. A beautiful saucer pass from Kirkby. Thompson makes no mistake. And the burger goal comes with 5.23 to go in the second period. Out of harm's way himself. Across all three lines, a shot kicked out with the purpose by Mack and Anima. Held in, Lynn's got some open ice, played over for a ceiling. He fakes a shot. And tipped by Nielsen and Mackinanima was ready for that one. Gavin Yates, Sears on the backhand for Weber, tipped in. Dan Weber, after going down with that upper body injury in the last period, grabs his third goal of the season. A beautiful pass out in front that Weber just gets a stick on, goes off top shelf on Joe Shepard, and it's five to nothing. Triple B's peeling off the boards, pass out in front, Weaver gets a piece, and he gets a G for his efforts. It was Yates with the beautiful move and pass. So Gavin Yates, back on the score sheet, down over to Connor Smith, back up to Bond. Arista tipped from Stefan, and blocked by the skate of Lambert. Lambert could not clear on the first try, it's held in by the big body, Connor Smith. Now Stefan with some space, shot, goes through the five hole. Finally, Kyle Stefan has his first goal as a Black Bear. The extra point, excuse me, nope, the touchdown is good. Six nothing for Binghamton. Well, a big congratulations to that man right there. His first professional goal. Kyle Stefan, have yourself a night. He's looked great all night, been right in the middle of every opportunity, just goes five hole on Joe Shepard. And the Black Bears lead six, nothing Brooks. 15 goals in their last two games against the Seawolves. 
Trying to draw some defenders with him. He throws one towards the net, blocked by Fitzgerald, and now Fitzgerald's gonna be in a skate race. Binghamton looking for the extra point. Fitzgerald in, scores! Colin Fitzgerald, welcome back to Binghamton. Short-handed tally, seven nothing for the Black Bears. First goal, like you said, Brooks, but how impressive that it's short-handed. We know Fitzy has that speed, just a burst of energy. And he just shot out of a cannon, picked up that puck, knew he was gonna go top shelf all the way. And as you said, extra points good, seven nothing. Binghamton. As Lisko comes in, tipped on, Mack and Anamon made the save and cleared out by Stone. Yates back across the line, he skates through. Skate to stick, he recovers the puck, back across for Oliveri. That one is gonna count. The monkeys off the back. The power play post-show streak lives on, and Don Oliveri has the eighth goal of the night for the Black Bears. Yeah, just too much time and space. Let that puck get right to the Don Father. Released his elite slap shot, and he found the back of the net. 17 goals for the Black Bears in the last two nights, Brooks. We'll see if they can keep it going to end this one in tomorrow against Elmira. Here's they are, one for three. Give and go, Anderson to Smith, tipped on! Austin Thompson, that one is gonna count his second of the night, and the Black Bears have nine goals in back-to-back -back games. Well, Tomer's gonna have to be careful, Brooks. I don't know if all these Binghamton faithful have gotten their hats back as he has his second goal of the night. A beautiful tip, just like yesterday, vintage Austin Thompson out in front. Shot comes from Connor Smith. And Austin Thompson says, thank you very much. I don't ever write down the secondary assist. I wait for the official announcement. Here's Frank Perny. As Walter scores! Well, make it double digits. J.T. Walters, nonchalant, just goes back <laughs> and lines up at the blue line. Binghamton leads by double digits here on Saturday. I love that, the JT just goes right back to the blue line, says let's just drop this puck again. It, I, I think that that celebration of no celebration was the ultimate celebration, if that makes sense, Brooks. So now Wong, starting and stopping, shot held on to by Mackinanema. And I believe that is the second power play shot of the night for Mississippi. 45 seconds gone here in the Northeastern Striping Corporation penalty kill. Russell shot through traffic, seen all the way by Mack and Animal. For Stefan, he tries to poke it ahead, stolen by Nielsen, a shot fought off by Mack and Animal. 420 left to go here, third period. Stoya a shot, and again Mack and Animal answers the call inside the blue paint. 35 seconds left to go in the man advantage. Stoya comes in again, a high rising wrister. It lands on top of the net in a mad dash by all the guys dressed in black and green to somehow cover up that puck. Mississippi controls the puck off the face off. Oliveri back out there on the PK. Shot kicked out by Mack and Animal. Rebound denied. And they will. So, Connor Mackinanema picks up his second shutout as a Black Bear. Stops all 20 that he saw. And Binghamton wins 10-0.